the laws and rules in esoteric thought. When considering the many occult laws and rules given out by the Tibetan master through Alice Bailey, we are drawn to the statement in the rays and the initiations that the laws of the universe govern and control all that happens in time and space and are the expression of the one life in whom we live and move and have our being. And it said, there is no avoiding these laws, but rules are different, for they are intuitively recognized and voluntarily accepted. It is perhaps an occult truism that everything is interrelated in the universe with a vast aggregation of energies and forces at play. And whilst this may be considered to be an abstract and theoretical truth, we are brought firmly down to earth by one of the basic laws in occult development and spiritual unfoldment, that is the universal and fundamental law that energy follows thought. And we're told that when the Lord of the world created this planet for strictly redemptive purposes, there was a process of sustained thinking which brought evolutionary and cyclic activity in conformity to the pattern which he eternally visualizes. As above, so below. Hence, humanity on its evolutionary journey moves forward through stages of selfishness, self-awareness, selflessness, and group consciousness. And in the process, becomes a thinker using the mental plane as the field of creative impression and expression. Then the mysteries of group work and group awareness begin to unfold and serve the greater good. The mind is confronted by the complexity of the occult laws and rules with their veiled meaning, meanings and subtle hints. And in order to find clarity, the lower senses must be taken in hand so that the light of the soul can be registered and expressed in some creative service. This is the path that leads towards group life, whereby the student becomes a channel of compassion and an instrument for love, as stated in one of the seed thoughts in Light on the Path, the first study course in the school. The conscious decision to accelerate the evolutionary process through reflective thought, meditation and service may at first seem to have only an individual impact, yet it is in reality a vital contribution to the sacred and holy task that confronts humanity as a whole, which is to manifest the spiritual kingdom and its laws and rules on the physical plane. This is the initiatory process at work with the speeding up of evolution through an expanding consciousness in contrast to the slower, more natural method. Nevertheless, both methods are conditioned by the laws of rebirth and karma. In the book Esoteric Healing by Alice Bailey, a law is described as the effect of the life of a greater entity as it encloses a lesser within its living process. At first sight, this suggests that there is no free will, even though freedom is a divine principle. However, the working out of the principle of freedom in daily life and relationships depends upon the unfolding consciousness of humanity 
which develops over many lifetimes. Eventually, there comes a time when the greater life, the soul on its own plane, exerts its influence on the soul in incarnation, the threefold personality. The result is a battle of wills. Understandably, the lower self puts up strong resistance to this higher entity and the inevitable result is tension and crisis. In the current world crisis, we may sense that in the violation of spiritual laws by humanity, through decisions freely arrived at, there is a price to pay because we're told that the basic cause of all disease is resistance from the not self or material aspect to higher spiritual energies which prevent man from moving forward to a new more enlightened way of living in our present so second solar system there are we're told three groups of laws which govern the expression of the living purpose. They are the laws of nature concerning the form and separation which are developed, the laws of the soul, the laws of group work, group awareness and group consciousness which are developing, and then the laws of life, the dynamic laws of being which are relatively dormant. The laws of the soul are the highest laws to which humanity can respond at the present time and they render negative the laws of nature. And when they are fulfilled, fulfilled the purpose of the second solar system will be concluded. This would seem to confirm the divine destiny of all who strive towards group progress in the unimaginable far distant future the laws of life will supersede the laws of the soul and will be distinctive of the third solar system there are many rules that govern everyday life we have the rule of law applied with wisdom understanding and compassion or with cruelty and ruthlessness from a spiritual perspective there is no avoiding laws such as the law of karma of cause and effect but rules evoke an intuitive response and develop through life experience stress strain pain suffering tension and conflict yet also through joy and inspiration in connection with rules there is a revealing passage in discipleship in the new age volume 2 which states that the many books written by the tibetan in conjunction with alice bailey are concerned with the rules that govern the ability to do group work which are preparatory to the establishing of the new dispensation on earth or the general world order in contrast to disorder <clears throat> an intuitive response to rules takes the mind to a higher level for the intu intuition lies beyond knowledge and facts it is pure reason or straight knowledge the result of a direct connection between the personality and the soul and later the spiritual triad at its highest point the intuition is known as universal love which brings an identity with all beings and a developing sense of universality from a spiritual perspective we may imagine that liberation from the hold of materialism will develop through intuitive reasoning 
act which as it takes hold will condition attitudes, thoughts, motives and desires. Materialism is in full sway, yet recent events have brought the world to a shuddering halt, bringing enforced lockdowns, but also the op opportunity for deep reflective thought. In this connection, the esoteric meaning of the law of group progress or the law of elevation is highly significant, for this is concerned with the ability to do group work. With group work, each individual uplifting consciousness contributes to the whole, thus furthering planetary initiation and planetary redemption. The idea of wholeness has been recognized by foreigners throughout the ages up to the present times. And now in the 21st century, thinking people across the planet are becoming aware that everything in the natural world is interrelated and is an integral part of a greater whole. This is as yet a theory which has to be grounded and applied to daily life and relationships. But the idea is circulating in the ether. The esoteric reason for this is surely that the laws of the soul, which, which we call, may call the supernatural laws, are coming into play. Thinking at an advanced level brings us to the 14 rules for group initiation given out in the book, The Rays and the Initiations, which are to be read with the developing esoteric sense. These rules give fuller understanding of the laws of group life. And Weiss has said that only the initiate consciousness will truly comprehend their significance, the disciple on the path can try and put them into practical effect in daily life. They not only have an individual significance, but they are related to group initiation, which, if followed, will take the disciple and the group through a major spiritual experience. They embody the techniques of the new age. The esoteric sense is considered in depth in Rule 15 in a treatise on white magic. And its development is said to be the objective of all inner training, which will enable man to attain a continuity of consciousness that allows the inner light to be applied in the world. The esoteric sense develops as a threefold personality and the soul come into alignment, resulting in an attitude of intelligent love wisdom and an awakening sense of responsibility. Utilizing the power of silent thought through daily meditation, the disciple can tune into the world of ideas that will shape the new age and work to manifest them on the physical plane through service. Then increasingly, the attitude is one of the detached observer, working from on high without attachment to the form nature, yet working in unity, love and compassion with the inner essence of all. The detached observer from a high vantage point is able to see things from a universal perspective. For example, the broad sweep of history with the rise and fall of civilizations subject to the laws of rebirth and karma. The onward march of human consciousness is seen to have a spiraling effect with peaks and troughs and higher and lower interludes. Humanity 
having progressed from instinct to a highly developed intellect, is now challenged to take the next step up the mountain path towards a revelation of love and intu intuitional awareness to be applied to daily life to the higher spiritual will. In this onward progression, it is possible to imagine a world where the qualities of the soul, such as understanding, love, inclusiveness, compassion, tolerance and wisdom, and above all, spiritual humility, will seed the ideas that will form the Aquarian Age. In the last analysis, it is therefore the esoteric sense which will enable the individual to live a life in tune with the laws and rules 